Greetings musicians, hope this video finds you well. Um, I'm here with the first video in a series of tutorial videos that I will be uploading to YouTube to aid us in our remote learning, um, in which we're going to discuss various aspects of playing the clarinet. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is actually just disinfecting your case and your instrument. Uh, the cases have been disinfected uh, prior to your picking them up at the school already, uh, but we'll do that a second time anyway just to you know, play it safe. Um, as a disclaimer, I created this protocol um, via my own research online. Uh, the information is compiled from a variety of online sources, including the EPA's guides to uh, products proven to eliminate the coronavirus, as well as various guides to disinfecting instruments, surfaces, and fabrics. Um, it is, however, the work of a musician, not a scientist, so if anyone has any feedback on how to improve this method, I readily welcome it. Uh, so we're going to begin by sterilizing the outside of our case. So if you could please put on some gloves, uh, we'll get started with that. All right. Now that we have our gloves on, uh, take your instrument case and we will uh, begin by spraying it or wiping it down with a cleaning product that has been uh, approved by the EPA to kill viruses. A short list of uh, approved products can be found in the video description. I'm using a Lysol spray. So I'm going to spray the outside of the case down uh, completely. It's important to let the spray remain on the case for a certain duration. If you look at the back um, label of your cleaning product, you can find uh, the amount of time that it will take uh, for the product to fully disinfect uh, the surface. Um, sanitizing does not remove uh, all of any given contagion, so you have to wait the full time that um, the product specifies for the item in question to be disinfected. Uh, in the case of the Lysol spray that I'm using, that's two minutes, so we'll spray it down and then we'll wait two minutes. Uh, once the two minutes has passed, we'll wipe it down uh, with a paper towel. Lysol wipes are also a great option. Um, rubbing alcohol works too, but definitely check the uh, product list in the description for all approved products. We're going to pay special attention to the handles and latches of the case when we're spraying it down uh, because these are areas of the case that are frequently handled. So please uh, make sure to completely uh, cover them with disinfectant. And again, we're going to just let it stand for uh, the amount of time specified on the product in question, in my case, two minutes. All right, we'll meet you back in two minutes. Now that the case has been sprayed down uh, and we've let the product stand for two minutes, let's wipe the case down. Make sure that you uh, Try to get all sides of the case. Um, you know, for instance, you might want to start by spraying like the top and sides down, um, as well as the handles and latches, waiting the two minutes, uh, wiping that down, then flipping the case over and spraying the bottom. Um, just make sure that you try to, uh, you know, cover all of the, the whole surface of the case um, and that it's all clean. Now that we're done with that, let's uh, dispose of our gloves and we're going to put a new set of gloves on and open the case. Uh, we're going to immediately dispose of any reeds in the case, um, any pencils or anything like that, we'll get rid of two. Um, and then after that, we're going to remove the mouthpiece from the case. The mouthpiece uh, cleaning process is a two-step process. Uh, in the first step, we'll use vinegar and cold water to remove any debris that um, has clung to the mouthpiece. And then in the second uh, step, we will actually do the disinfecting. So again, it's going to be a cleaning and then disinfecting process. So once your mouthpiece is removed from your case, uh, please remove the mouthpiece patch and dispose of that. That's the um, soft rubber patch that's kind of on the beak of the mouthpiece uh, that's there for the uh, to prevent the teeth from sliding around. So we'll take that off and just throw it right away. Then we're going to prepare a solution of one part vinegar to 10 parts water uh, in a glass. We're going to submerge the mouthpiece in this solution uh, up to the cork. Don't let the cork actually um, be within the water. You want that to be above the water level. 
uh, because the vinegar can uh, damage the cork or damage the adhesive. So we're going to keep that above the water level, but the rest of the mouthpiece will be submerged. We'll let that uh, stand for about five minutes. Once uh, it's soaked for a little bit, any debris should be removed. We will uh, run it under cold water and take a Q-tip and just kind of um, clean it out. From there, uh, once all any debris is removed from the mouthpiece, we will uh, take a Q-tip and soak it with some rubbing alcohol and sterilize the inside of the mouthpiece. And we can either use an alcohol swab or a really soft cloth or napkin that's been soaked with rubbing alcohol to sterilize the exterior of the mouthpiece. After the mouthpiece has been sterilized, we'll let it air dry. Do not put anything back in the case just yet because we will still need to uh, disinfect the interior fabric of the case. The next step will be to uh, disinfect each piece of the instrument. We'll begin with the barrel, uh, remove it from the case and clean the outside of it with either like a Lysol wipe or uh, some soft cloth that has been moistened with rubbing alcohol. Once we clean the outside, we will then moisten our swab with some rubbing alcohol and run it through the bore of the barrel. Uh, as a disclaimer, I don't recommend doing this to wooden instruments um, because they might be a little more sensitive to these cleaning products, but this should work well for plastic instruments um, such that students use. After we uh, take care of cleaning the barrel, we can repeat the same process for the bell and then for the upper and lower sections. When we're cleaning the upper and lower sections, make sure that we are cleaning the keywork, the rings, the tops of the tone hole chimneys, the thumb rest, and then again, we're running our swab, which has been moistened with rubbing alcohol through the bore of the instrument uh, once the outside of each piece has been cleaned. We'll set these aside and proceed to cleaning the inside of the case. So now that we've got our clarinet uh, cleaned and disinfected, we're going to work on cleaning the interior of our case before we put our clarinet back inside. The first step will be to give it a nice vacuum. Uh, this will just remove any debris from inside the case. And then we're going to disinfect it by putting some rubbing alcohol into a spray bottle and thoroughly spraying the interior of our case. Uh, make sure the rubbing alcohol is 70% um, alcohol by volume. Once it's thoroughly sprayed with this, uh, we will let it dry. And then we can dispose of our rubber gloves that we're wearing and work on returning the cleaned instrument to the case. Um, so put each uh, component back inside the case. When you're going to put the mouthpiece back inside, please affix a new mouthpiece patch to the mouthpiece. Uh, give the patch and the mouthpiece one final quick wipe down with an alcohol swab or with a uh, cloth that's been soaked with uh, rubbing alcohol just to disinfect it one more time. Uh, get some new reeds in your case and then you'll be all set to play.